Connell, thanks for joining us. Um, disappointment, first of all, with last week's results at Cambridge? Uh, yeah, very disappointing. I thought we did more than enough in the game to uh, to at least deserve a point. Um, you know, possibly all three. You know, we looked over the game on, on Monday and, you know, we did have some really good chances where if we put them away on a different day, you know, it's a, it's a different scoreline. How's things gone in training this week? Spring at everybody's step, looking forward to bouncing back? Yeah, it's, it's been really good since the new gaffer came in. You know, he's... Um, He's brought fresh ideas, training's fresher, he's got a hands-on approach, um, which, you know, for me personally, I, I prefer that. Um, so, yeah, training's been really lively, you know, really good standard. Everyone's, you know, fighting for a place and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's only going to better us. What's the manager doing different this time? Um, a little bit more hands-on um, kind of thing. Um, wants to maybe build up from the back a little bit more, but as well as you know having a plan B and mixing it up as well, I think it's important to have uh, both sides of the game. Um, you know the top sides in the league can do both, so I don't see why we can't. Um, but yeah, he's just been a breath of fresh air to be honest with you, and uh, the lads are training well, and hopefully we can have a good, you know, four weeks to six weeks now with the fixtures coming up, and we can really push away from the relegation zone and, and get up the league. And both he and Dave Kevin have got that weird experience, haven't they, that they bring with them? Yeah, totally. Uh, it's invaluable experience at the end of the day. You know, um, the more you do, the more you coach, the more you play. You know, the more you learn. Uh, and you know, as a player, you learn until the day you retire. And as a coach, you probably learn until the day you retire as well. So, I think uh, the more experience, the better, really. I guess the first thing on Saturday priority would be a nice clean sheet, wouldn't it? Yeah, we we've not done too bad with clean sheets over the season. Um, uh, overall, we've conceded a few more goals than I would have liked being a defender. But um, clean sheet wise, you know, we're, we're up there with. With the best in the league, so um, another clean sheet on the weekend will definitely give us a platform to build on to get the three points. And as a defender, how much has the manager been working with you? Um, yeah, like you say, um, we've been doing a lot more um, unit work, um, like defence, midfield, attack, um, which you know is is good because then you learn the roles of other players around you, their strengths and weaknesses, rather than just training as a collective group. So um, I feel like you know he's, he's, he's like you said been really hands on, and you know I'm preferring it as a as a player like. Big week now for the football club, isn't it? Three games in seven days. Yeah, obviously we've got the game in hand against uh, Tramier on Tuesday, but you know, more importantly is this Saturday. Really, it's a massive game, arguably the biggest game of the season so far. You know, it's a, it's a six pointer. Um, it puts distance between the teams that are below us in Morecambe, and then obviously if we can pick points up on the Tuesday, which is our game in hand, then that takes us further away from Macclesfield. So. Uh, I think just concentrating on getting the three points on Saturday is vital and then we'll cross the Tramia Bridge when we come to it. And it's important that you win your home games, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um the home four this season has been um has been, you know, a little bit woeful. Um but our away form is has been quite good. So, you know, you look at last season, the home form was good, but the away form was really poor. So I think uh, this season it's, you know, been the opposite. But if we can concentrate on on putting in a good performance and an entertaining performance for the fans on on Saturday, I think it might, you know, sway a few people in the crowd and get them back on side. Talking of the crowd, there is a planned protest before the game. Obviously, mm -hmm. come three o'clock, they're going to be fully behind the lads. Yeah, and that's key, isn't it, on the day? Yeah, um, like you say, that's the beauty about football. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a game of opinions. So you know, some people will be protesting, some people won't be. Um, but hopefully, whoever is protesting can come here and, and get right behind the lads because the main aim is is keeping this, you know, football team in the football league. So, and I think if we're all together in that, I think it can only help us. The manager has targeted five wins between now and the end of the season. Mm -hmm. Is that the moves and that's what everybody's looking at in the dressing room? Yeah, obviously, you look at the fixtures remaining and you look, you know, ideally, you know, over the years, what points keep you safe. Um, you know, what we want to do is we want to try and win every game. But realistically, we know that's not going to happen, you know. Um, so, but if we can get five, five wins... And then pick up points here and there. You know, we might get more than five wins, but I think if you set yourself goals, then you can strive towards you know achieving them. What do you know about Morecambe? I know a couple of lads there um, from playing you know Chester in the old days and Everton as youth player. So you know, I know a couple of them there. You know, they're they're an honest bunch of lads. They're going to work hard, um, and it's important for us to win that first battle in the 20 minutes, and then we've got to impose our game on them early doors with being the home side. I think there's one player that stands out, isn't there? His name's Kevin Allison. He doesn't need any introduction, does he? Well, yeah, I, I played with Kevin when I was at Chester as a YT. Like, so, uh, yeah, I know him. Uh, he's a great guy, do you know what I mean? Uh, and he'll leave everything on the pitch. He's an honest fella. Um, and he's a good player. That's the reason why he's still playing at his age. So, uh, he will be a danger man for them. But, um, you know, we can't take our eye off any other player because uh, 
in this league any given player on the day can, can have a worldie. Having played with him, you know what his strengths are. You can't afford to let him get on his left foot, can you? Well, that's what I mean. He's got a lot of strengths. You know, he's big, he, he's powerful, he, he's good in the air, he's got a good left foot. So I think, um, you know, whoever plays at, at that right back or right wing back position is going to is going to be vital for us come the weekend. It's your first full season in the football league. How mm -hmm. much have you you enjoyed it so far? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Um, I've enjoyed you know the pressures of um, having to pick up points every week. You know the pressure of uh, obviously performing to keep my shirt. You know at my previous club. You know I. I, I I might have been one of the first names on the team sheet every week, and you know, uh, winning games was something that we did on a regular basis. Um, but this season, I've enjoyed it for different reasons. You know, I've been to battle for my place, battle for points on the weekend, and I feel like you know, when when we get the three points here, you know, it means an awful lot more to me. I think there's one thing that we could do with, and that's a few more goals from Conor Rawlinson, isn't it? No, yeah. Well, I've managed to get I managed to get two this season, one in the checker trade and one in one in the league, but. I always set myself a target of five a season, really. So um, if I can get one on Saturday, I might have a chance of making it. But um, but yeah, goals this year haven't haven't come that well. Um, we do need to score more goals, especially from set plays. Um, and uh, I think if we can work on them and ideally get them right on the training ground, then they'll convert into goals on a Saturday. Yeah, you can't keep afford relying on Tom Pope, can you? No, not at all. Um, you know, we all know how big you know Pope is for us as a as a player. Um, he scores a lot of goals and he has done throughout his career. So I think uh, what we need to do is we need to all chip in and kind of help, whether that's from the back, midfield or, or wide people. So, uh, But yeah, that just comes from practising and training. And like I said, the gaffer's brought in a new philosophy, a new type of way of training, um, going through you know unit work and stuff around the edge of the box. Hopefully that can, that can translate into a game on Saturday. And just a couple of words on Tranmere, if that's OK. Mm -hmm. Big game Tuesday night. They'll bring good following because they've always had good support, haven't they? Yeah, Tramy is like just around the corner for me. Really, it's only about twenty minutes from my house. So, uh, yeah, they've always had good support. Uh, they're a big club, as in as in your football league club. I know they were out the division for the, for a few seasons, but um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. You know, and it'll be a good test against against a strong side as well. But good. Good. mainly, uh, Saturday's more important. Going through a bit of a sticky patch, though, aren't they at the minute? They are, but um, like you say, it, it's it's one of them where if if you don't turn up on the day. You know, it's like a cup match every game. You know, if you don't turn up, you you, you will get beat. So um, every game, you need to be at 100%, and that's from the goalkeeper all the way up to the forwards.